Now I'll show you the new interface for SMS messages. Uh, as the admin, uh, well this is the interface that you should use for sending messages. Uh, just for, as you can see here, you have a record of all messages sent or broadcast to various lists, uh, whether it was you as admin or uh, another user that created it. And so to create a new um, a new, I'll, also you can check out your schedule I'll, and I'll show you a little bit more of that here in a second. So you can type in an, a title. All right, I mean, that can be anything you want. No one's going to see this. It's just um, for your reference. It's just what shows up in the list of, of messages we that was on the previous screen. So um, I'm not being very creative, I know, but um, type in your message. It tells you how many characters you have available. You need to be on the HTML. Uh, tab is the best place to do this. Um, it kind of strip, make sure that it strips out all. You know, you don't. If you, I just want, I'll just show you this real quick. If you happen to be on this tab, and uh, for the most part, it'll work okay. And if you happen to insert any HTML behind the scenes, like we have test message, and now we have the, some HTML tags in there, it's going to mess up our character count. And uh, we don't really want that. So best place to do it is, in most cases, people aren't going to mess with those things anyway. They're just going to type the message and send it. But okay, so test message, <clears throat> and um, I'm going to send it to this list, and um, I'm going to choose a phone number to send it to. And uh, as soon as I uh, click publish it'll actually send that out to the list and this, these numbers here there's two subscribers on this list um, so you get the subscriber count uh, if you want to schedule a message you can schedule as many messages into the future as you want um, all you have to do is instead of publish immediately you would click edit and change the date and time that you want it to go out so you can be specific right down to the minute when you want these to be delivered um, so actually let me go ahead and do that. Let's change this. Now, remember to hit OK. If, you, if I hit Publish now it'll just do it immediately. So hit OK. You notice this, this button changes to Schedule. So if I click this, it gives me a little more confirmation. Do I want to continue? Yep. <clears throat> and now we can see that it's um, been created and if I go back into my list of messages you'll see there's the one I just created message title and then it's a scheduled message and then if you want to filter um, your list by scheduled messages you can do that so um, let's see here um, you can edit this message any time up until before it's sent. So it's not sent. Uh, here's the status down here. As of this day and time, it hasn't been sent yet. So if I want to make a little edit to it and change it, I can go ahead and update it. And since it hasn't gone out yet, um, it will. Uh, those changes will take effect. If I go back into my message list, and I can look at one of these that have already been published or sent and I edit those the status will tell me that it's already been sent and that I cannot make any changes to to it and it won't you can't force it to go out again um, that about covers the new interface for SMS messages um, actually what I'll do um, and uh, let me just show you real quick what it looks like for a, a user. Uh, I'm logged in on another browser as um, another user here. Uh, now notice that this is the same interface, SMS messages, but I only see the messages that I'm the author on or the creator of. So, um, and when I create a new message, I'm only going to see. Um, list that I have access to. So same interface, same options for 
scheduling and that type of thing. It's just that I only have, I only have access to um, the my list. So um, one other thing I'm, I've probably mentioned in another video, but make sure and you'll be prompted if I try to publish this, it's going to tell me what's wrong here. I need to select a list. I need to pick a phone number and uh, it's telling me that my message is blank so I probably don't want to send a blank message it won't let me continue without setting this stuff up so if I just type in my message here um, let's try it again it tells me now I still need to select a list I need to select a phone number and my from number so if I click on the list you'll notice that when I click this list it updated on the right over here here are the two numbers that are assigned or available for this specific list and I can choose uh, one of those to send the message from. So um, now if I click it, it will actually say um, it's going to send it. Do I want to continue? So, And that covers, I think, all the features uh, of the um, uh, new interface for sending messages.